<laughs> so the one thing I have to say about him, unlike a lot of other artists, he's that guy 24 hours a day. He, he, there's no other guy. And I personally looked inside his closet. There are no jeans, there are no t-shirts, <laughs> there's just prints. <laughs> so you gotta give, you, you know, that's pretty remarkable. And, and he's just consumed as an artist and visually and everything else. So after this period, he calls me up at the end of 1986, and he's now doing <coughs> Sign of the Times, which is kind of a, um, it's kind of a, a rock, psychedelic, pop kind of thing, completely different. And he, all he said on the phone was, would you like to come photograph me? I need you to come now. And one thing about him was he didn't want to be asked questions. He just wanted to be able to say something and you implement it. So I had no idea what I was, what I was, what I was going to do. So this is the year where uh, Paisley Park, his big compound in, um, in Chanhassen, Minnesota, which is, which is kind of in a cornfield outside of the outskirts of Minneapolis, he, he built this incredible modern um, soundstage, a recording studio, state of the art, just for himself. Other people can do it as well. So basically I walked in and this stage was completely empty and he walked out wearing something like that. And I go, oh, okay, so we're being a little different now. And he goes, I'm gonna come back in a few hours, just fill up the room. And this was a Sunday in the winter in, in the suburb of Minneapolis. In, in, Minneapolis. And I'm like, okay, fill up the room. So I had all of his people go find things, <laughs> throw junk around, and I go, what am I going to do for a background? There were no camera stores open, there was nothing open, and someone said, well, there's this dinner theater down the street that's putting on a production of Guys and Dolls. <laughs> so they go into this dinner theater, and they borrow the background for 24 hours, and they put this up, and they throw this junk around, he walks in great and goes, let's shoot. So this whole thing happened organically, there was nothing there, and the reason why you can see through him is because this shows he has no patience. He came in, and he goes, I wanna see what it looks like. I go